Hey everybody, this is Walter with Access Electric, and today I wanted to show you uh, how to wire up an ice cube relay like this one in order to use that ice cube relay to power or to start a variable frequency drive. Now, in our last video, I showed you how I used an ice cube to power up a drive, to start a drive, uh, but I didn't go in depth on how the relay was wired. Today, I wanted to show you how to wire up this relay with a three-way, a three-wire start-stop circuit. All right, well here on the screen, I'm going to show you uh, a three uh, or a relay. Let's see. Let me get this active. I'm going to show you a relay, and a relay has this is this relay has eight pins. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pins on this relay, and they're connected in a certain way. Number one and four are normally close together. There's a, a bar, an arm, um, and I tried to take a close-up of that for you. There are actually two bars, one between one and four, and another one between one, uh, eight and five. And those contacts are normally closed. That means if the relay has no power going to it, one and four are closed, eight and five are closed. There is also an inductive coil inside the relay. And that coil, when it's energized, when you apply power to the coil, the arms in the relay will change state. So let's power up this coil. Power is coiled up and the arms will change state just like that. So then one and four will open, one and three will close. Also eight and five will open, eight and six will close. And so uh, that is how a relay works. If you power up the coil, as long as electricity is creating a, a magnetic field in that coil, the, the, the bars in that, uh, in that relay will change state, just like that. Now here, I had I have a schematic similar to the schematic that I used when powering the drive or, or when starting the drive. So I used eight and six in order to start the drive. If you'll remember, there was a, um, I, I took a, just a loop of wire and I closed terminals 11 and terminals two on the drive and the drive started. And then I wired up the drive to the relay and powered up the relay and again it closed those two terminals and that started the drive in two wire start mode. Uh, this is how I, I powered or this is how I wired that relay. You'll see my terminals, my start, my start uh, power comes and feeds my stop button which is normally closed and then that feeds my start button which is normally open and then that came over and fed my coil, one side of my coil my neutral came over and fed the other side of my coil. So as soon as number two and number seven are powered, the bars here will change state from four to three and from five to six. So you'll see I powered up number two, the bars change state. And now if you'll see this red wire is energized all the time, unless I press stop, this has power on it constantly. So once I hit start and this energized and these bars changed state, contacts one and three became closed. This loop of wire maintains the circuit going to my coil. So now I can open up my start button and my relay stays in the energized state because I have power coming in on number one going over to number three and then looping back to number two, which keeps my coil energized. Uh, so, and it'll remain energized until I hit the stop button, which kills power to this red wire. And this will change state back into its normal position. That's how it works. And I'll show you a, this is a ladder diagram of the same exact circuit. I have power coming through my circuit breaker. If I turn off the circuit breaker, it turns off electricity to that. I can hit stop, it just it turns off the power. I can hit start and my relay will close between two and seven. One and three closes, just like here. One and three are closed. 
which keeps my coil on. And then eight and six will close, which is this closed. And this was my 11 and two on my Allen Bradley VFD drive. And once I closed those two and two wire start, the VFD started. That's how you use a relay in a three with a three wire start stop to turn on whatever you needed to turn on. Uh, now, one thing you got to remember is these relays, these ice cube relays, they're not made for a large load. They're made for a, con this is a control circuit relay. So you don't want to start, you don't want to turn on lights. You don't want to turn on motors or pumps or anything. These are, this one here is rated at no more than 10 amps at 250 volts. So you would never want to use it for a large power source, but for a control uh, power like this, it's the perfect choice. Anyway, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and do that. And until the next time, have a great day.